Welcome to Everybody's Got a Price. You know, the the positions are always rotating around here. You know? <laughs> I am I am your fear of fearful? Yeah, fearful. Fearless? You're fearless. Fearful. I have no fears. Fearless leader, Jeff Dye, and my co host with me today. Also co-owner, co-president, co-creator. Wow, I got a promotion. Yeah, promoted. Yeah. Yeah. Joshua Cowboy Nelson. Yeah. What's with the hat, bub? I went to Nashville, and I feel like this is me now, dude. This is you. This is me. I want to be a cowboy. Dude, cowboys are the best, but that hat looks like shit. <laughs> it doesn't look bad on you. It just looks cheap. It is cheap. It's just a cheapie I got in Nashville, okay. and it traveled, and it didn't make it. And yeah, you just put it in your you luggage. put it in my suitcase. Of course you did. <laughs> no cowboy would do that. And then instead of Georgie on the ones and the twos. Yeah. Holy biscuits. What <laughs> happened here? George got a little shorter. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, better but, looking though. Way, oh, whoa. way better looking than George yeah. for sure. Thank you, I appreciate it. You said yeah. that, not me. So. Tougher, more confident. Yeah, funnier. <laughs> George is not gonna like this episode. I can't. Wait. He's not watching. <laughs> He's, not it. Like He's in Croatia. Either. I don't even think He's they have internet. He's in his homeland, going. Oh, it's good to be home. I'm so mad at them. You think they have internet out Come there? Come home, Georgie. Yeah, I'll send him a video. I'm like, hey, can you cut this together? And then he'll respond three days later. Like, do you want this part in or this? I was like, I already got somebody. I already got somebody to do this, Georgie. <laughs> funny. No, but we miss you, Georgie. But we're happy to have you, Christian, here yeah. like, doing your thing. Yeah, I'm taking his job. I like so, it. I like we it. like it. We like it. Uh, Feel free to chime in at any point. Um, let's yeah, talk so about yeah, Nashville. Where you been, buddy? Let's talk about Nashville first. Oh, of all, Nashville first. I was in Nashville uh, doing a show. With Backyard Comedy, it was great. It was an outdoor show. And then happened to be the same weekend that you were coming out to do yeah. a celebrity softball game. Yeah, it was good. The Folds of Honor. Um, Folds of Honor Tennessee had me out to play in their softball game. I did it once before because of Terry Bradshaw. But because of that, they were like, hey, you should come back. I said, I'll come back. It was yeah. Great. Fun. It, I got to go to the beginning with you and hang yeah, out. Yeah, the and, rain uh, delay. Yeah, that's all right. It was fun. It was cool to see people, and you were so excited. Yeah, it's very exciting. It was some big celebrities, though, huh? No, yeah, all the was. big celebrities canceled. Well, no, there was like country guys. There was and... a lot of great country musicians there, but yeah. Jelly Roll canceled, yeah, The Undertaker canceled, canceled. all that... these people kept canceling. Yeah, that crushed you, The Undertaker, I'm sure. Well, all of it. I think, you know, these people come, they see who's going to be on it, they want to they wanna see them. Well, and Jelly Roll was like on the Jelly billboard. Jelly Roll was the main guy. <laughs> on the billboard. He's on all the marketing, on the press. You can't just cancel on these things. <laughs> he just last minute. I just can't believe famous people sometimes. Yep. Their behavior is very unusual. You'll be there someday. No, I won't. Yeah, well, you actually, will. I mean, fame wise, hopefully, but I'll always be. You'll in, uh, I'll always be the guy that honors my word. You canceled on me one weekend. You'll cancel. No, I mean I'll cancel things, but I'm saying <laughs> I won't just be like, oh, I'm famous. I don't have to show up to something. That's no. Crazy. I agree. I agree. Uh, now what else? You've been on the road. You've been a, been a bunch of what, spots. Florida, to, Florida? To, to New York. I've been to a lot of baseball games. Okay. Like I went to Dodger Stadium, got that foul ball. Boo! I went to. Um, we oh, went, we went to the we Padres. To the Padres. Yeah, that well, was amazing. Well, we went to the Diamondbacks Padres game in Arizona. Yeah. Then we went to the Padres game in San Diego. Yeah, that was. Then awesome. I went the next day again to see, just to because Dylan gave me tickets. Yeah. So I went to two Padres games. I'm going to an Angels game this Wednesday. Nice. We're going to an Oakland game when we go to. Uh, nice. Yeah. And then I have nine first pitches. We're in all in different parks, so I'll basically be able to go to every park this season. That's amazing. That's which cool. is the second time I've done that. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, yeah. with that P- Padre game uh, we went to. That you got the tickets for. That was insane. We were in the Great front. seats. We're in the front row. Front row. Everyone's like, you guys are on the front row. It's yeah. pretty fun. And on camera, for every left-handed batter, you could see us behind. Just a, me eating. On fucking, camera. On yeah. camera every oh, time. Pretty cool. God. <laughs> Those games are fun. Baseball fun. is such a fun thing. Go to baseball. Oh, and then I went to City Field with the Mets. That's another one that I didn't mention. Oh, you just did that. Yeah, I that's right. That I saw that. Ago. Yeah, which is great. Also, a lot of baseball games. Also, you uh, did a little... Uh, Jersey trade. Tell me about that. Oh, yeah. So uh, I wore an Undertaker jacket from Chalkline. Thank you, Chalkline. And uh, I swapped it with Dylan Cease's yeah. jersey. And all the. Uh, There's a great video of it on my Instagram. Go yeah. Down. Go down. What's funny is oh. on the way down to meet him, all these people were like, hey, I love that jacket. Can I try oh, yeah. it on? This one girl's like, can I wear it? Yeah. It's just like, you're like, no, I got to. Trade it. I swapped it to Dylan Cease. Now, I have a version of that jacket as Razor Ramon. So anytime that I go into my closet and I'm like, hey, uh, you know, I'm going to wear a wrestling jacket today. I always pick the Razor Ramon anyway. So I was happy to, to part with my Undertaker or my Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. One. 
It was yeah. cool. Yeah. That was a fun time. So, I have a beef with you, though. You went to Lake Havasu with your family. I did. I went. I did a week trip, Lake Havasu. Uh, we go every year uh, for one week, and it was awesome. It was a boat trip, uh, tubing, and all kinds of Very stuff. jealous you went to that. I mean, you're always invited. You looked happy and you know that. I had to yeah. work. You know? yeah, I mean, you always got to work, I got to work. That's the Here's thing. Here's the thing. This guy, Christian, tell me who you, because you're here now. We'll let the audience decide that listens when they listen, but yeah. you're here now. This guy does a, a challenge. Nine hot dogs, yeah. nine beers in nine innings of baseball. That's the challenge. That's a nine by nine by nine challenge. Very difficult challenge. A challenge so difficult that I wouldn't even attempt it. One, I don't drink beer. But even when I was drinking beer, I'd be like, dude, I'm out. It's a food challenge. Like I'm going to be done at three yeah. hot dogs. Three innings. Like you could out. do nine by nine by nine with soda waters and hot dogs, and you probably still wouldn't be able to I do it. I don't think I'd be able to do it. I'm not, yeah. good at, I'm not the food guy. I'm yeah, not yeah. like the food guy. I get guy. it. I but get it. you did it. My brother and I did it. For the Padres game. But here's the thing. He only ate the sausage part of the hot dog. He no didn't bun? have a bun. That don't count. I ate three of the I ate three buns and then the rest no bun. That and, doesn't count. Uh, doesn't count. Okay, so it's this also is a little suspect. This is the fight that we're having, and I feel like you guys set this up. No, we didn't. Uh this is the fight that him and I are having. Will you go on here and look up uh a pack of hot dogs? And uh just tell me what pops up. I'm curious. Uh, okay, so when you click on that, yeah, it's just hot dogs, right? So Very famous. Do they don't Josh. they don't like put the buns in there, right? So no. if you say you have hot dogs, and this is what you go to the store and you buy hot dogs. That's the challenge. No, I, we no, did it's it. not because you you could say that about any ingredient. This is an ingredient of a hot dog. This is a, the main part of a hot dog. It says on that package right here, hot dog. Right. So that's right. where that's I disagree a, those with are you. Hot, those are like sausages. Like the hot dog, they, that's part of a hot dog. Yeah. Here's my argument, and the audience will be on my side. I'm sure no, they right won't. About You're this. trying to lead them into no, the No, but I guarantee side. if we were at a Padres game, and me and you waited in a little line in the third inning to go buy a hot dog, and then I'd say, one hot dog, please. And then they just brought me a sausage with no bun. We'd be like, what the fuck is this? You'd be like, what? It says hot dog. That's what a hot dog is. I'd be like, no, you know exactly what we're doing, game. First of you, all. I want the bun. I want the hot dog. I'm going to put crap on yeah. it. You can't just go technicality like, this is what a hot dog is. This is Well, no. That's ridiculous. And I, you know that. I like a hot dog with the whole bun, but I don't think you can say we didn't do it. When you this, didn't do it. This is a hot dog. But when they do do hot dog eating challenges, they don't eat just the dog. They right. eat the yeah, entire Yeah, but we weren't in the hot dog. I wasn't, <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't this is Nathan's. a challenge. One I of the most famous Nathan's. hot dog challenges. Yeah, but we weren't in this challenge. Um, no, no. So so they didn't do it. I'm going to be no. honest. You did a great thing. It's very difficult. It's hard, but you didn't do the challenge. You didn't complete it. I mean, if you, it's up to you. You say we did. Actually, I let's think say the hot dog challenge. Let's go to the nine. Let's not drop this. The nine hot dog challenge. Let's look it up. See if there's any written rules or anything like that. Because I bet there is. Well, I mean, and then let's put like rules. Reddit. There you go. How how many of you could do it? Yeah, I don't know. Well, maybe there's a place. To, there's I mean, a these are people says, doing it at the game, and the only reason we didn't do that because it would cost two hundred dollars. Um, there, uh, there we go. You eat nine hot dogs, drink nine beers, and do it all during the baseball game. Yeah, we did that technically. No, you didn't. It doesn't say that you have to be bread on the hot dogs. There's, did you type in the word rules just to see it if maybe? It doesn't say there has to be bread on the hot dogs. No, that, that you're being ridiculous. Also, I'm going to be honest. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. It doesn't need to say. It's implied. It does it's a whole hot say. dog. Rules are rules, bitch. It's so ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous that you fucking are doubling down on something. I'm not doubling down. You do this all the time. You intentionally pick an argument you know you're wrong about to see I if you can wiggle out of it. Yeah, you once. do. Take me out to the ball game. You made I up. Still yeah, see, I still believe that. I still believe. See, the thing is, you think I do this shit because just to argue. I believe it because I think you're smarter than what you. I'm giving. Maybe I'm giving you. See, too it doesn't much say credit. anywhere. Now I could. I could. You're right. I could see your argument that it doesn't count if you didn't eat the bread. And I'm going to be honest. I think we could have eaten the bread. I think we could have. You should try it. I, w I, w I mean. Here's and another thing. The funny thing is we had to start eating the bread because just the hot dogs sucked. Like it was just, it wasn't good. Mm. And that was for sure harder than the, that's sadly, I don't know if this is good or bad. The hot dog part was way harder than the beer part. Really? I think it'd be the reverse. The yeah. beer part. Because you're not thing, even eating buns. The beer. 
<laughs> just sliding on your throat, I could crush just nine. You're such a bitch. I could crush nine hot dogs. You couldn't hot do nine hot chewing. dogs. I could do nine hot dogs. No, you couldn't. I'll do it. Not the way, not the way we With did no it. no bun? Yeah, you it's couldn't easy. do it. I could crush that easy. No, you couldn't. I'll do it for lunch. And the other hard part about it is just every inning. You're like, oh, God, this inning's yeah. almost over. And you're like, we got to do it. An- so it's more the mental part that was the hardest part. The drink part wasn't that hard. The hot dog part sucked. But then the, just the knowing it's every inning. Is there a time limit on the hot dog? Like, you got to eat it by the end of the inning? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, and I'm wondering if it is just by the end. You I have think, to have nine. I think it's just by the end. I mean, I've seen a guy just put out one where he, like, he ate, like, four hot dogs in the first inning and drank four beers. Good little start. Like, yes. to get get ahead. So yeah. I don't know if that's, like... And then people were calling him out saying that wasn't fair. So you we know, should have done just, more homework on this. I mean, it's just one of those things. It's just a fun challenge that you're it, taking serious. It is fun. I like it. He said it's close to $200 just to do it. I mean, at the game, it would have been. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that Joey Chestnut guy is now not in the Nathan's Hot Dog Yeah, that's so stupid. Which um, is interesting because Kobayashi got banned, right? Yeah. And then now it's all Joey Chestnut. Every time a Joey Chestnut. But then Joey Chestnut is now banned from nathan yeah he's banned because he took a sponsor with beyond meat i think yeah he well he, he went 1.2 million dollars went a into a different um a competitor so i'm on their side about being like dude you can't go to a competitor and then he also wanted more money and they're like well you already kind of broke our rules but i don't think it's a competitor i think it's beyond it's like the it's not meat it's like the veg- but it has nothing to do vegan. with nathan's yeah yeah and so that's a competitor. I mean, who knows how much money he's giving attention to another thing. Also, he was in a competition with them. That's their competitor. Yeah, I wonder how Where's much that money at? it was. Like, uh, is it up? Yeah, it's on this. I mean, in one of these articles for sure. But it's like he kind of went and did this other thing, and they allowed him to. Uh, I wonder how much money he's getting paid for. Uh, he got paid for the Nathan stuff. Like to win the contest, how much money you think he made for the I hot dog know. contest? But I mean, he is the biggest star. You yeah. can't like that's the thing about hot dog eating. It's a lot like uh, women's basketball. I mean, or I know you only I know, know about the, hot you dog only eating. know the most famous one. You Holy know, shit, two hundred fifty to five hundred thousand per year. So for him to take a one point two million dollar sponsor from somebody else, I get it. Yeah, and I think he was making more than that. He's an exception. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't. I mean, it's. So I heard they're going to have a face-to-face now. I had, a, like, Kobayashi and Chestnut are doing That'd be great. Thing. That'd be a fun thing. Yeah. Kobe didn't Yashi, he always destroy Kobayashi? Like, isn't... No, I think that uh, they were just different eras. I don't think they ever really... Oh. Oh, maybe they were against each other there. God. By the way, Chestnut is not a good-looking dude either. Uh, He's I a th- weird-looking dude. He came to my show. Um, oh, look, they did compete against look each other. Look how young they look. This will be interesting. Yeah, I wonder what Kobayashi's been doing since then. I'm like, do you think he's been in the competitions? All right, I know he's not in the official competition, so I'm wondering. What's crazy is these guys are skinny. Like, yeah. they're not. You think they would be big old dudes. Yeah, you know what I'm noticing is uh, they're always eating buns. Oh, they that's what this whole thing. Yeah, that's a different the, contest. This, yeah, well, that's a that's the measuring stick of contest. So you double down on that. I'm pretty sure I'm right, and I did the buns. challenge. And uh, so they're oh, going to do their own. So here's another fun thing. Uh, Dylan, by the way, when you do the nine by nine challenge, uh, you want long innings. You oh want, yeah, yeah. You want like we were cheering for. You want a long game. You don't like that pitch clock when no. you're doing the nine and nine and nine. So we were pit, we were cheering for mound visits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dylan was pitching. Yeah, yeah, and he pitched lights out. He gave up like one run and like he was killing it. So I sent him a message. Oh, I go, hey nice. man, uh, c- great pitching tonight. Not great for the nine by nine challenge though. And That's he just started fun. laughing yeah. about it. But the lights went out, and like Petco Park, and bought us like an extra ten minutes. Oh, that's we were like, good. yeah, we were cheering for all this. When stuff. was that? That must have been on this Sunday, was Monday night. I was we gonna did. say because he got torched by the Mets. Yeah, he did just this uh, couple yesterday. But, but the, this uh, was Monday night. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, it was against the A's. I thought about going to that game too because he was like, if you're gonna be around in town, like let's go to uh, you know, yeah, that'd have been game. dope. Three nights in a row, just stayed just out there. Padre guy. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> But that I was, was wearing the same thing every day too, because it was going to be a quick trip to San Diego. Yeah, but I'm you went to a like game, so it's like a white hoodie with a Dylan C's jersey over it. It's, <laughs> oh, whatever. Like, we saw you yesterday wearing that. I'm like, oh no. Yeah, it's but at Padres least costume. if you're at the Padres game, you can get away with wearing yeah, a jersey, yeah, the yeah. same jersey every day. So I love it. What do you want to look about? We want to look something up about you. Nope. Huh? All right. I didn't know if there was like the no. uh, picture of you in the hoodie or not. Oh uh, no. Uh, anything else? I'm trying to think. Anything else fun going on? 
Port Charlotte, Florida was very fun. Yeah. What how, how was the crowd? They were great. Yeah, the crowd. I mean, Old, just, young. Yeah, but we had to cancel Friday Late Show because there wasn't enough tickets sold. So that was disappointing. Okay. And then, uh, but we had a good time. Nashat came down, so she hung out the whole weekend. Oh, okay, she came uh, to Florida. Nikki and um, Andrew from Atlanta oh, came, yeah. and they hung cool. out That's the whole fun. time. Uh, my friend Holly came down from Sarasota, hung out for one night. So it was good. it was like a very fun friend weekend. I love that. That club is fun. It's I, good. It's, I mean... It's you know the one time I went out there, it was like it's like a little vacation spot yeah. kind of. It feels like, but, but you know like, like fun, so like, the reputation of the place we're talking about, it's like an older crowd, and like I've often been like, dude, there's been nights where like the youngest person in the audience is like sixty five. Yeah, yeah. that's the youngest. Yeah, but this time, it made no difference on the show. I had my buddy uh, Nate Roscoe host, very young comic. Look him up. He's in Florida. He's a good guy. Lives in Tampa. Sweet kid. And then uh, Randy did uh, the middle act, and then I I did the headline. Dude, it was fine. There was it didn't matter how dirty Nate was, how dirty Randy yeah. was, whatever I did. The crowd was just good. Cool. Yeah, the crowd was very very um, receptive, and and it, like their age had no effect on any of it. That's awesome. I got a funny story. Uh, and I don't know if we've told this on the podcast or not, but the first time I did this club with you last year, uh, it was the first time ever Jeff goes, hey, man, why don't you do like 30, 35 yeah, minutes on go, this show? Go and spread your wings. And I was like, wait, what? You never asked me to do more time. Like, what's going on? I look out, there's everyone. The youngest person was 65 years old. Yeah. I was like, oh. That's what that's he's doing. What's They're still going eating on. dinner. <laughs> yeah, that's what's going like, why on. Why is Jeff letting me go long? He's never letting me do more time. Yeah. Something's got to be up. Are you coming but, with me to Reno? Uh, I don't know when Reno is. I no. don't know anything about it. You you just told me about Reno. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> You're so good at your schedule, dude. I don't know. Well, <laughs> well this is a last minute thing. Got you. So I'm wondering. Uh, I don't know. I got to look at the dates. I got. Is it next month? When? Not? But we'll talk about that. Whatever. Yeah. Um, All right. Let's jump into this. Let's do it. Here we go. Today, our guest. You excited? Yeah. I'm you excited. excited? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I've been on his podcast millions of times. He's uh, my best friend. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> I don't care, dude. Uh, I love you. Got death. ninety best friends. You know friends. from Ready Set Blow podcast, which is actually filmed in this building, uh, and then also um, stand up comedy, and uh, he's the man. He's the greatest. Uh, Randy Valerio. Hey. Yeah. Woo-hoo. Yeah, dude. Finally made it. Finally made it. Yeah. I'm. I'm what am I? The four hundredth guest at this point? No, we're like. Well, if you did, if you if you had available days, I know. Yeah. Well, I, I'm I'm breaking your balls. That's I, different. I've, I've said it on my podcast. Be like, oh, how come you've been on Jeff's? It's like, well, because I'm like the Al Roker. Because Al Roker always used to be the fallout guest for Conan. Ah, uh, that's I'm funny. A, I, you know, I'm around. Yeah. <laughs> no well, rush. I'm yeah. not going anywhere. I never know how people want to, uh, you know, talk about their actual other jobs and work life and shit so it's it's kind of tough no, you know talk like about it. uh well that's the thing you took on a, a kind of a day thing you got to yeah. get done so you're not around as much it's not like covid where we could just fucking drink all day and, <laughs> and night you know like also when you do work as much as someone you know like a real person you're exhausted afterwards sometimes you want to fucking yeah you know. that's true I, yeah. I, i've uh i used to take friday nights off when i was like working monday to fridays but obviously we're doing comedy now. Yeah. So I, I, now I give myself Sunday night. Nice. That's a good yeah. night off. Smoke a lot of weed, sit on my fat ass. You just chill? Yeah, smoke yeah. weed. Fucking maybe I'll go to the gym, maybe if I'm feeling up to it. What time did you get home yesterday? Uh, about one. Nice. Same. Yeah. I landed about one. Yeah. And then uh, I didn't do anything all day. Just yeah. watched. Sunday's a good day for that kind of yeah. thing. Especially when there's football on. But there's no fucking football right uh, now. It's oh. the dry season. Although there's baseball. You oh. guys were in Florida, right? Yeah, Port so was, like, Charlotte. 6 a.m. flight. Uh, I got I was on a seven a.m. flight, but I had to be at the airport at six. Yeah, I was you gained five, three five, hours. Five. That's right. Yeah, yeah, my layover was fucking taking long, but uh, it's all right. We got another drink at Shorty's, the weirdest bar on earth. Dude, what a Shorty! <laughs> You've been to Shorty's? It's the, that like the outdoor, outdoor one? kind of. Yeah. yeah, that is weird. What's crazy is like Thursday was perfect. It was like just chill. There's still people there, but then we could like smoke cigars and just be out there. But then Friday insane and like uncomfortable drunk people everywhere people coming up to us girls fighting then making out like it was very strange but then saturday right back to chill again oh it's like maybe they got friday night drink specials or something yeah, or karaoke night uh, or some sort of bullshit yeah. because i was like i was like, on saturday going maybe i should just go back to the hotel maybe we shouldn't go to shorties it was in zoo last night yeah, but yeah. it was great and i was like oh this is perfect right back to like thursday vibes we learned there was prostitutes that work there oh yeah and i don't believe <laughs> there really are i 
Drug addicts for sure. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. A lot of fentanyl babies running. She around kept calling this girl who was clearly just a slut a prostitute, and I was like, oh. no, she's not a prostitute. She's just a slut. Yeah, yeah. that's a difference. Yeah, yeah just she goes. She slept with everybody in town. I go one little judgmental. Two that doesn't make her a prostitute. No, it just means she sleeps. She likes sex. There's a question for you. Where do you come down on this? Are Sluts worse than whores or whores worse than sluts? Is it worse to get paid for it or is it worse to give it away? I'll be honest because both of you guys are here. This won't look good on... Th <laughs> I'm 1,000% fine and cool and supportive of sluts. <laughs> I don't get... Like, I have no... Like, everyone gives me a hard time about dunking on women. Like, I'm fine. I love it. I love that you guys are liberated. Yeah, I love that you're sleeping around. I love that you're... If you don't want to, you don't have to. That's good. I like it. Yeah. So I don't judge this girl at all. I do judge selling your body like on camera and like yeah, and actually yeah. like but if they're gonna do having for free sex anyway. with people you don't want to yeah, for that's money. True. That's like true. that's where I'm a little more judgmental. But I'm pretty pro sluts. Yeah. Like this girl was like, she's a fucking prostitute. I was like, what's your problem? Okay. This girl just goes to bars and has fun. Like, yeah. it's, I mean, she's embarrassing herself a little bit by how drunk she was. So doing it for the money is worse. Like, I think that's worse. Like, well, what if what if it's just a slut? What if it's just a hooker who only sleeps with guys she wants to? Then that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> then she's smart, right? <laughs> like, yeah, she's, I'd fuck him anyway, and he's gonna give yeah, me three bucks really for high. Yeah, right. Then Can she's. You sugar baby then? Uh, I don't know. No, don't they know don't fuck she... those old men. Oh, they try to avoid it. I believe. I don't know. I, I don't know a lot of sugar babies. I don't it's hard to trust much. these gals about this stuff too. They'll say, oh, I don't have sex with them. And then you find out, yeah, well, I mean, I give them back rubs and jerk them off. You're like, well, that's, yeah. come on. They put a live salmon in their assholes. Like <laughs> yeah. Technicality. A lot of those well, sugar I'll babies are just whores who don't want to admit it. You know, <laughs> yeah, they'll say all these lies. Yeah. It's like strippers. What? I just dance. You're like, you don't just dance. <laughs> You're doing all this other stuff. If you're just dancing, you're not making the money. Yeah, you you're going home with you 100 bucks a night. Three grand on lap yeah. dances. What are we doing, dude? What are yeah. we doing? Yeah, I've never spent three grand on a lapper. But I don't judge it. I, I judge when it's like when, like when they're doing something they don't want to be doing. Yeah. Like nobody would be a, uh, an accountant for free. Like they're, they're like, I, I love this. I yeah, but at least you're not selling love. your body as an accountant. <laughs> Well, no, but I'm, that's my point. Is like that's when it becomes their job. Oh yeah. When like I don't even like this trucker and I'm <laughs> blowing him, but at least I'll get five hundred bucks. You're like, yeah, I don't think that's good. I don't. I don't go. You get it, girl. Get the money. <laughs> it's like, you, like I, that's how I view it, at least. I think I would agree with that. I, the the the, uh, the wanting to is the big is the big separator. Like you would assume a slut wants to have the sex she's having. Yeah. A whore definitely does not want to have all the sex. Wait, so how do you yeah. differentiate a whore? Yeah, what's and a the slut? difference between slut? Those and are the whore. same word to me. Payment. Whore means you make money. A whore is a prostitute. Yeah. Oh, I didn't uh, know that. I thought it was a hooker. Yeah. A slut is just an is just an easy broad. I don't know all of it. I didn't even know this was a what's thing. The, oh, he googled it. Here we what's go. The different money versus enjoyment. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, there's this is like a whole. So Reddit slut is just for enjoyment. Yeah. So all the sluts out there should money? be whores. I've been using whore wrong, and I say it in my act like a thousand times. Because, you know, Norm used to always say whore, so like a tip of my hat to like Norm is I always use whore in my act, but I, w I wasn't even using it right. Yeah, so these so these slutty chicks should do it for the, should get some money while they're doing it. That's what I say. If you're a slut, you should be selling it. If you're a whore and you don't want to be sleeping around, you should stop. But if you're a slut and you're having sex for free, you should start charging. Well, That's I don't. Th I don't think that lies. people would want to <laughs> monitor. Yeah, monitor. Uh, but I think that then people just wouldn't want to. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I, I, I'm not yeah. gonna pay anybody for sex. <laughs> well, you pay them to leave. Well, but I, I guess. But I mean, like, I'd just be like, I'm not gonna do this if she had like a price. It would immediately take me out of it. So you'd rather pay 200 bucks for like drinks and a little event to date than? Well, yeah. I don't. I'd rather that. If I had some up. plan to get that for free, I'd do that too. <laughs> I got no strategy for that. <laughs> I can't be like, don't charge me. I am hot. <laughs> they go, well, we still charge no matter what. But like with uh, with sex, you can use your looks to get it for free. That is true. Yeah. That is true. Did you your see charm. the NFL player that got charged like three grand for a threesome and he ran out of the hotel room and the girl chased him ass naked after him? No. Did she catch no. him? If she caught him, he should be cut from the team. But also, His 40 times should be better than that in hers. I love this idea. Wait, so he, he was he, he was in a threesome. He did a bone and dish? And then he, yeah, I love this idea. Because guess what? You don't have to pay those girls. It's against the law. Well, it's a crime. She can't go to the, pro like, because there's plenty of uh, stories of them scamming 
men. Yeah, I wonder if you can do that if you like if you have sex with the prostitute and then call the cops. Those girls are dumb. Say, hey, I didn't know she was a prostitute. They're man. supposed to collect I the she money was a first. Slut. Yeah, and then she said, "Hey, that? I need money for this." What's that? How do you know that? They oh, I tried to buy sex once. <laughs> did you? Yeah, to pay first. They left. They did the opposite of this. <laughs> you tried to. They left me. <laughs> you got scammed. Yeah, I got scammed. <laughs> Never pay up. Tried to get a prostitute and I got scammed. What? Yeah. When was this? In New York City. Like True story. A, a month ago? Yeah, some guy shows ago? up, shakes me down for the money, and then I give him the money. He's like, she'll be up in a second. And then no one oh, came up. no. <laughs> you didn't even see the girl? No. Oh, I talked no. to a girl on a phone, and then a man showed up, and he's like, I'm her security or whatever. What a great scam they got going. And he just said, give me the money, and you handed it to him? Yeah, he goes, she's downstairs, told me all the rules. And then when I paid it, look at this. Oh, wow. She's, she's really going for it. Oh, and they know who did it? His Wait, name? is he done? Like, they did the thing? Yeah, they're done. And she's naked, and she's chasing after Like, what are the cops going to do about this? It's a crime to be soliciting yeah, sex. Yeah, I love so, it. Like, yeah, like he's if, if you of... rob a hooker, is that a crime? Oh, he ran in his towel. 4.88 seconds. That was the Diddy video, I think. Oh, yeah, my bad. Yeah, don't show this that. Just a meme one. Yeah. Don't show the Diddy video. Uh, Wild. I mean, hey, you're gonna be engaging in that type of lifestyle. I'm surprised you're gonna I'm, get some. You're gonna get these type of things. That's a strategy you can use after you have sex with the prostitute. Call the cops on her. And be like, listen, I thought she was a slut, man. I know she was a prostitute. Yeah. I, well, I the wasn't problem is, sex. Th- what you, is she gonna say? The other one? She'd have to be a real dumb uh, prostitute to not take the money first. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like that. Oh, I've never yeah. heard of any <laughs> prostitute being like, oh, pay me after. We'll figure it out. Well, half now, half upon completion. What yeah. Also, <laughs> is it illegal to? Be the prostitute or to pay the prostitute? Both. Both is okay, illegal. Okay, so yeah, if you, if you call it, though, the cops. If you record it, it's technically illegal, I think. Yeah, if against they, their will, that's... Uh, if you well, record it? If you pay the girl and set up a camera, at least in Vegas, it's technically legal because you can say you're filming porn. I, it's, I don't believe you. This sounds I insane. think that that is the technicality of, like, what's the difference between porn and prostitution. But I don't, be- I don't think they'd believe you at all. Yeah. There's, Although maybe I mean like What situation is the cop Showing up and I don't know I think the United States Is the only de- developed nation Where prostitution And maybe is it's illegal. changed Because now so much porn Is filmed on a smartphone Oh I'm, I'm fucking OnlyFans The entire thing Yeah the entire thing Yeah maybe that has changed okay, Maybe I am wrong Really? I mean, yeah, that sounds try like that a Vegas, really bud? crazy rule. I actually used to have a the joke cops in come, my you act just say In you... 2008 where I'm like I'll just film it And say it was porn but like that was just me joking and making up stuff. It wasn't a real idea. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I didn't. Oh. How do you know this rule? Yeah, wow, you really you're really deep in the fucking whoring rules, buddy. <laughs> when I was like 12 years old. Oh, had, oh Jesus! It was gonna get dark. Nothing better to do. Uh, where I'm from, like it was small town. Buy a so, hooker. <laughs> well, we went on back page, and me and my friends were trying like haggle the prostitutes that were on back page to see how low we could get them. And, like we were trying to like haggle them down to like 12 bucks. Like that's a big <laughs> scam too. Like his back page. Those are all scammers. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's when I like started looking into this stuff because I was like, I don't know. I, I kind of got, I was in a dark place when I was yeah. 12 year old, right? But also, this is an interesting subject we can talk about. Josh is trying to make you feel like, how do you know about all this? How do you, like we, there's plenty of things that are, that we know. That yeah, but that's just a weird rule Aren't now. nefarious. That's just a weird rule Or that know. are nefarious that we know. That's, yeah. yeah. To like know I, that I know what the age of consent fit. is. Doesn't make me a pedophile. Yeah, just because I know about a thing doesn't make me. <laughs> you know what I'm like, saying? Like the right. fuck. <laughs> yeah, we oh, know my tons bad. of stuff. I apologize for <laughs> fucking suggesting something. My bad. No, I know what you're up to. Yeah, All right. Everyone's the bad guy, old Josh. <laughs> you guys turned fucking quick there. That well, was no, because I just think about it. It's that like that was uh, real cute. I'll be like, you know, oh, you know, we're technically murdering. You like, how do you know about this? Like, well, I just watched a. That's thing a very a specific thing. rule that he said just out of nowhere. He's sort of wrong about it too. <laughs> yeah, that's what. I'm well, saying. he said it with such confidence, and I was like, oh, it sounds, yeah. it sounds plausible. Yeah. He goes, if you if you film them, you're fine. You can pay them. I was like, I don't know. How do you know that? That's it does it. seem strange that you can just pay a porn star. Well, I, I thought that's. I, I remember hearing it like if you film it, it's technically you're making. A yeah, movie. yeah. Well, I had. Uh, that's I had, interesting. I had a porn star on my podcast not too long ago, and she was like, "Yeah, she's she." I asked her. She said, "Probably more than half of those girls in porn do uh, oh, meetups. Yeah, yeah, so they can, call yeah. them or whatever they, you know. Oh, yeah. But because they're in porn, it's like a real high price. Because now they're yeah, well, stars. yeah, they're the most famous fuckers yeah, on the planet. Yeah, exactly. I mean, literally. <laughs> what a world! Are right, you ready to get into this, Joshua? Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking about uh, the time in Vegas that we tried to get a stripper escort for a bachelor party. 
Oh, okay. Called. You said we like I did. No, 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 not we. Not you and I. We, like a group. It was like 10 of us in a room for a bachelor party. And we called one of the numbers. And then the girl came up to the door. And she did not look anything like her. Never. Picture. This isn't the girl so we called. So we just looked through the peephole. And we're like, nope. <laughs> not opening the door. Every, we didn't open the door. Quiet. There was a dude out there. A girl. We're like, we're not opening it. And we just that's never great. opened the door. Oh, you told them you that? You look yeah. wrong. You not, look wrong. Well, and that's the thing. You're like, if you're not the one in the picture, then don't They're show never up. the ones and in the picture. it's not the one that in the picture. That must happen fucking... That girl in the picture is in Florida, married somewhere. Like, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I don't understand why they still show up, though. I know. Well, because they like, know you're probably all horned up and hammered. I know, but if you, you know? don't look anything like the girl in the picture, I mean, come on. Yeah. Well, look, they're, it's like they're when playing people, the odds that you're going to be a desperate fuck. It's like when people catfish on, like, a dating app. It's like, then yeah. they show up. Yeah, that like, long game is Like, nuts. you just started this whole thing on a lie. Like, I just, now I can't get over how you're not the person that you look like in the picture. Yeah. It's it's what tricky. I want to know, what I want is how you get the job as the, uh, as the, the bouncer, the escort, the guy. How do you get that job? Yeah. Dude, Randy, I, I know someone that had that job, and they said it was the most depressing shit they've ever done. But uh, but it seems like there's be a lot of fucking great stories to come out of it. He said he just like would sit around, and then like the girls he had were just losers, and they'd be like all depressed and shit, and he'd just have to drive them around and like wait. He's like their hygiene was terrible. You're a prostitute chauffeur. They're wiping they're, their yeah, pussy in the back their seat. Their small talk is terrible. Like everything <laughs> about it, he's like it just depressed me. I bet me the pay so isn't great. <laughs> I can't remember who it was. I I want to say it might have been Big J. <laughs> But I can't remember. Like, someone was just telling me these stories, and I was going, oh. And yeah. he goes, yeah, dude, it just depressed me. I wouldn't be a fun I, I do guy. that these for These broken, summer. sad chicks, and, like, you're, the hours are terrible. And you're taking them into these terrible, like, meeting the loneliest guys in the world, you know, just, like, it's all of it's <laughs> But just, you can rob them. Yeah, if you wanted. <laughs> like, yeah. you, like you, dude. <laughs> yeah, you can rob guys like me. Nice boys. You just go, here's my money. Will someone have sex with me? And they go, no, no we're out of here, dude. <laughs> How long? When did you know that it was a scam? Like four or five minutes after he went downstairs, and you're just he's like she'll be up because it was even very convincing when uh, he was shaking me down. He's like, listen, she's right downstairs. Yeah, you treat her, treat this like a date you're gonna get laid on, okay? You, and I'm already having reservations. Yeah. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm yeah. a loser. And then <laughs> and then he's like, she's right down there. Hey, listen, if she wants to talk for a little while, you know, talk to her for a little while. If she wants a drink, get her a drink. You know, like you treat this like a date like that you it. know you're going to get laid. And I said, okay, okay. So then he's like, and I swear to God, if she, if you hit her, if you do anything she doesn't like, Jesus. if you choke, why well, he's got to. No, it's smart. He put rules. him on his heels. Yeah. He has him worried about, it. oh, I, I got to be nice for her when she comes up. Yeah. It's like, no, I'm leaving now with your money, idiot. Yeah. yeah. He had you worried about so treating her right about, instead oh, of okay. him robbing you. Yeah. And I'm going, okay. And then he goes, all right. And, uh, you know, but, but have a good time. But like I'm saying, like I'm right downstairs. And if I hear her yell or if like if I, you know, if you, if you smack her or something, I'm be right up here. I'm going to fuck you up. And I was like, all right, I'm not going to do anything bad. And then he's like, all right, you got the money? And then I was like, yeah. And I had like, you know, it was like 500 bucks or something. And then he oh, goes, oh, a nice hooker. And then he was like, uh, he was like, <laughs> or whatever it was. I think I remember it was like that. And then he's a guard and it's like a hundred bucks for me to drive her here. Of wow. And he I was hit like, you up for another C note. Yeah. And I was like, what? And he goes, I had a driver here. This is, this is my like, fee. That's not my fault, so dude. There, but it's also, not on the like, website. <laughs> there's, yeah, but there's no, you can't be like arguing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fine I'm gonna, print. I'm going to call the Consumer Protection Bureau. <laughs> yeah. I probably should have said that's all I got, but I didn't. I walked away. Left the door open, too, to my apartment. Wow. Walked up, you know, like looking through my cash in this like, other room. I put 100 bucks in it. I said, all right. He goes, all right, I'll, she'll be right up. <sighs> and then they just drove away. And then I'm just sitting there in my basketball shorts with like a half boner going. <laughs> Just like five minutes later, you're like, she's not coming. Yeah. Oh. And, and then like, I like, ah, you know, so nothing. You, I can't call the police and be like, no. they took my money. I was going to have sex. Oh, oh, dude, it could have been worse. He could have kicked your ass and robbed your whole oh, apartment. Yeah, you know, like, I mean, like it could have been tied way, me up. Yeah, it could have yeah. been way worse. So the and maybe she was down there. Here's the thing. Maybe if I'd have been like, no, no I'm, not bring pay, I'm not paying you till. You know, till I see her, like yeah. whatever, like there's a then that could have been a thing, but it maybe because maybe he was like he went down there, he's like let's go, like he already paid us. Dude, like, I bet he just... runs that scam every time. It's like if he says no, no, send her up and I'll give her the money. Yeah, then he sends her up. Yeah, if but I, like, I bet they just, to they just take a chance and like yeah. oh fuck, we got out of we got out of a shift tonight. Yeah, because why <laughs> why why go up and have sex with me? They've yeah. already got all the money. Yeah, <laughs> scary looking dude, very scary. Russian dude. Uh, he was some sort of European man. Yeah, okay. a lot See? of tattoos on his face. He had that look of just like lived rough. You know, like Nate Diaz. You're like that guy's fought his yeah, whole yeah, life. Like, all right. like he has that like look of just like I've fought a My lot. My experience, those guys are all built like you know they're all like really muscular but really small. He was big. He was big. Okay, as big, but like taller than me. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, and uh, it was very embarrassing. And I just laughed after like an hour. Like, I was just laughing to God. Like, well, this is what I get. You know you know what? I tried you, to buy you a know chick. You tried to do them? something out of character here. You're like, ah, oh, you showed me. I was me. like, you got me. <laughs> you know what you don't have to live with, though? The shame of having had sex with a hooker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> for, Afterwards, just for going, For 500 bucks, I, you, got, you, you got a funny story. got a lesson. Instead of shame. <laughs> yeah, I got a little lesson. What do you think is more embarrassing, getting a hooker or getting a rub and tug? Oh, getting a rub and tug. Really? Of course. Why? You from a massage. fucking 90 year old Asian woman with liver spotted hands what the fuck are you talking about there's dude yeah. some, uh, there's some massage parlors that are actually the women are actually really pretty <laughs> can I ask so him how he knows this one I yeah know. you can ask him this time you can <laughs> ask him this time okay. we can just <laughs> imply that we you know can, how he you knows you can ask him this time Josh this I don't know, this this one... I don't know from experience yeah. <laughs> every personal experience I've had they've all been 90 but I've heard someone I know Went to Mexico, like for Mexico City, for yeah. example. They went down to Mexico City and they had this thing called a milking table. <laughs> Sounds where, hot. Where you, I'm into that. Where I like that title. All the girl, they would come to the hotel. Don't with the table. Google this, dude. <laughs> they, not, I want you guys to see it. Uh, where they would come to the hotel with the table with literally just a hole in it where your dick would go. They right. would give you a massage and then they'd get under the table and jerk you off through the hole. That's... And it was all like young, like yeah. Crazy. These are called Mexican prostitutes, dude. <laughs> Not rub and tugs. That's great. Um... <laughs> a milking table. <laughs> yeah, no, we we pretty much figured that's, that's what, what I it guessed. was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who manufactures milking tables? Yeah, it's just the massage people. They added a hole. <laughs> it's the same table. Look, yeah, just like the neck massager it people, the vibrator has people. A spot They're the for same, your, the for same your industry. Crotch. I actually would prefer one of those. Uh, you know, when I'm getting a massage, right? yeah. A you know, helpful. somebody just made their own. The first one, they just made their own by just cutting a hole. In yeah, it. it's pretty simple. Yeah, you wouldn't need to buy a whole new. I massage mean, it's, it's, it's a bed with a glory hole. Yeah, it's really, it's really what it boils down to. It makes but sense, but way more comfortable. A lazy <laughs> man's a glory yeah. hole. <laughs> it really is. And you know what's on the other side. Yeah, well, that's yeah, that's yeah, the a next room part. milking you. <laughs> that's the. <laughs> All right, this got weird fucking right away, which I figured it would. Uh, uh, it wasn't me. <laughs> well, I guess it wasn't. Uh, yeah, it was. I, guess, I guess I mentioned the hookers at the short. Oh, yeah, the question whores was and a sluts. slut or a whore. That's what the episode's called, yeah. whores and sluts. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. I don't know why my mind goes to these places. I, I, really, I really don't. It's fun. <laughs> Let's get into it. Uh, right. you, you know the podcast, obviously. How much money does it take to do certain things? How much money would it take for you to fight Nick Diaz? Nate Diaz. Ooh. Get in the ring against Nate Diaz. Like, as soon as he knocks me out, I'm done? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's over just, after. Yeah, it's after, over. Uh, either you, you gotta knock get him out for or a he ring. knocks you out. <laughs> for one round, you got to get into the ring. Do I, do I got headgear or not? Uh, do they have headgear in the... Uh... Like practice, you know. Yeah, yeah most well, things they give you headgear. Yeah, because we'll headgear. Yeah. 20 grand. Okay. I'll let him knock me out for yeah. 20 grand. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll be asleep in two seconds. I won't remember any of it. He is. That's he, easy. Yeah. And and the 20 grand just to make sure I don't have fucking brain damage. He's kind of a scary look. Like, it's just scary. No, dude, I, I'd be more scared to get in the room. He doesn't physically look Lesnar. like imposing. He looks like a crazy person. But just like. At the Cigar Lounge last night, they were playing a old match of his. It was actually it was the whole UFC thing. It must have been like a DVD or something. But it was an older UFC thing. We didn't know it was old, so we were, I was like, this guy's still in UFC. There was, like, the cowboy guy. And I was like, this is, like, strange. But it was Nate Diaz and Connor was the the main event. Why wow. I don't know, but there was blood everywhere, and it was, like, the longest well, he's a match bleeder. I've Nate, ever Nate seen. Nate Diaz is always is nicked up Dude, on a both fight. both of them were bleeding so much. And uh, there so something whatever that fight was. There was visceral about the UFC. That's what I wouldn't want to have happened to get all fucking scarred up. I think, yeah, that was it. Yeah, that would suck. You just got scars. Dude, there was and... there was so much blood ever, and it, the match just went forever. There was no knockout either. Dude, Nate back Diaz in the day, that's the impressive part. Was that Nate Diaz? I don't think has really any knockouts. He always, I feel like he's a decision fighter or a submission. Fighter. It was crazy. They were just going back and forth, and we were like, "How long?" Well, that's what's lines? scary about him is that he just keeps fighting through. Like, like it, he, he's like Rocky. His he would be like, cut my eye, Mick, and then put him back out there. Like Ugh. that's the kind of guy he is. So twenty grand. Did yeah, he? Dude. Did Nate box one of the Paul brothers? Yeah, he bought. He boxed. Uh, Could they hit in the head? And he and he tried to go for a standing guillotine in the middle of the fight. <laughs> That's amazing. I love in that he boxing? did that. I love that he did that. Was that one of like Jake's first fights? No, this was. Uh, I think one of his more. Oh, there's the ones. guillotine. He tried to choke him out, and uh, everyone's like, "Come on!" I'll, I'll tell you but what did about Jake. Uh, win. Yeah, 
I don't know. I don't know Jake don't from Jake's Logan. Lost yet, I thought right? they were all the same guy. But I'll tell you this. Uh, I mean, obviously they're great at being a promoter. At, you know, any type of promotion. But the fact that they just get more and more famous people who don't box in the ring with them to fight them to build up their like you know their their bona fides, their bona fides, whatever. Yeah. Like it's it's amazing, and I I'm bummed this fucking fight got pushed back to November because I feel like I mean yeah Mike Tyson's fucking pushing sixty. Speaking of Tyson. But how much would you guys call? Uh, how much for you guys to get in the ring with him, Tyson? Now, bro, see, that's the thing, man. He like that power doesn't leave you. Like he'll knock my head off the fucking the top of my shoulders. Like that's the thing about this this fight. <laughs> Who is it, Jake or Logan fighting? Jake. Jake. Jake is yeah is is fucking forty years younger than him. But if he makes one mistake, and Mike Tyson gets connects one time, he's going to sleep. It's gonna be. Great. I mean, like that's the thing. Like he's he's a legitimate. For real boxing, because was... Nate Robinson was a fucking basketball player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nate Diaz wasn't a boxer. Yeah, he's got all these UFC yeah. guys that aren't boxers. Yeah, this guy. I mean, if he fucking falls asleep on one fucking punch, he's gonna get put to sleep badly. I, I will say, I couldn't believe when they were standing next to each other how big. Like Jake looks Jake's way big, bigger yeah. than him. He's a big dude. Tyson's not a tall guy. He's never been a big. But he's tall frightening. Guy. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's he, like that. That fu- like that weird fire in him. I mean, he looks like a fucking killer. Yeah, How is. much he to get in the ring against Tyson? Oh. Shit, man. Uh, is it is this on top of my medical bills? <laughs> nope. Uh, no. You got to factor those in. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, we hope you have medical insurance. Yeah, I'd say $200,000. <laughs> okay. I'd say 10x Nate Diaz. All right. And then would you go against Jake Paul? Oh, yeah. I'd do that for fucking 20 grand. Okay. I, don't know, I mean, he'd probably he'd put me down for sure because he's a real boxer. But it's funny because everyone that we've asked that is always like, "Oh yeah, I'll, I want to fight." They all want to fight Jake. No, I'm, I'm gonna lose. You lo- you'll lose. Yeah, all yeah. of us I'll will lose. I'm no way. Yeah, we're for, not saying uh, win, but everybody's yeah. saying like, "Oh, I'm cheaper I would. for Tyson because yeah. I want to exploit the the, yeah. the circus of it." You know, I'd love. Oh well, the, I didn't know you could factor that in. Yeah, I'd love to like have my the Instagram reels. I'd, I'm like, I get to hang out. I mean, by in that a way, me- I'm kind of by that measure, I would want to you know fucking bang Hillary Clinton on OnlyFans for money. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> you know, she's not attractive, but wouldn't that be the most popular OnlyFans video of all time? If I f- oh, yeah. If yeah. I fucked Hillary Clinton. Yeah. The venomous well, Hillary that's Clinton. That's the thing. It's like all these like, would be like, it would benefit me to yeah. do. Of course. You know, I'd be so like. You, and your price is a lot different if you were if it was like that versus just going to a what, gym. Like if there was a happen. guy that was exactly as strong and scary and good at fighting as Mike Tyson, my price would be way higher. Because it isn't no, but I'm saying it's someone that you can't Google. There's just a man who is as strong and crazy and like, you know, bit same build and as dangerous as Mike Tyson. Fighting that guy, my price would be super high. Like a whole yeah. guy that was like Mike Tyson. Yes. Yeah, some like a guy like Kimbo Slice, but it's not Kimbo, Kimbo Slice. Slice. You know, some so we street fighters like you got to fight that guy. And I go, it'd be like a million for me because I'd be like afraid and it's gonna hurt and it's because. But I can exploit this into like yeah. Instagram reels. Oh, and then Jeff Dye got in the ring with Mike Tyson. Like you take all the the fun parts out of it, and it's way scarier. Yeah. So if it was like, just... oh, we're gonna put you in the prison yard. Yeah. And then this guy <laughs> is going to fight you. Yeah. How much? Like and uh, like you're not gonna film it for your stupid yeah, TikTok. Yeah. Your price you're is not, Like it's I way it. higher. Yeah, That's so that. scary. Here, here's, a, here's a here's a, here's a question for you guys. How much to go to to go to a legitimate state prison for thirty days? Oh, it's my biggest fear. Yeah, millions. Do my you, freedom. Do you think you can make? Th- you, you, you'll know you get out. No charges. I know. Just to go but in. My freedom. State, 30, 30, days, days. Like thirty days in. Do you think you can make it thirty days in a, in, a, in a in a state penitentiary? I don't think I could. I oh, well, here's a. That's interesting. You brought this up because I watch all those jail shows. And it's like ninety days in, right? Like these guys. Yeah. Here's the thing. Could I make it thirty days in jail? Hell yeah, I could. The difference is when you give me a, an escape hatch, or you like you allow me at any point to like quit. No, you're in like a prisoner. Then I could, of course, I'd survive. Okay. Because like the difference of the that show ninety days in, they can quit at any time they want. Oh, they can. Okay. So, but you've now put that little that chip in your head. Yeah, yeah I'm scared. I'm out. Of like fuck, 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 fuck. You know, yeah. and yeah, then as you, soon as anything gets a little yeah, heavier, like I'm out. They pull. They, yeah, yeah. But and so like. I, of course, I could acclimate. I think I'd actually do pretty good in prison after the first few weeks of like being really? able to like. You get a swastika tattoo on your face. To no, fit nothing with the like Nation. that. No, <laughs> but I think that I could use my words and my uh, bullshit to like be. They'd be like, "No, he's onto something. We could better ourselves." Like I think I could use some of my like church-like nonsense. <laughs> Would I you think do you, it? I think you have a really, really <laughs> just like shifted view of what it's like. I, I don't think. Being State cute. prison, Being though? Cute. All right, you, you were talking about... I saw your clip on hip-hop artists. You showed me the yeah, other day. Yeah. 
Uh, it, prisons that times 10. They don't have a sense of humor. Oh, in yeah, prison. yeah, the culture. Is... They don't have a sense of humor in prison. But and the goofy guy gets fucked in prison. 100%. <laughs> but the difference also is that they are very low level of intellect that is easy, that to, is true. easy to infiltrate. That is true. So, like, you know, like I would like win over like the kitchen. Uh, of every restaurant I worked at by yeah. just using very simple ego stroking tactics. Yeah. And, like I would be able to yeah. do that in prison. Yeah, there's not a lot of 180 IQs bopping around in prison. Oh, no. Not, yeah, you not. watch the show and I go, oh, I see what that, is, this, that guy just did to him and I could do that 20 times over. Yeah. Using your words in a in a manipulative, manipulative way, way yeah. like I think I could figure that out in yeah, prison. That's pretty, true. Pretty quick. What, is there, would you do it for a million? Uh, I would do it for cheaper than a million. Really? To go 30 days in jail, I'd do it for... Prison, not jail, yeah, which is oh, a so huge prison. difference. I know, in prison. State penitentiary, yeah. yeah. Uh, I would do it for... I wouldn't. F 30 days? Mm -hmm. 30 days, my... It'd have to be $500,000. 30 days, my price would be like $2 million. 500000 well, like, Really? Security, like Gen Pop, like... Maximum no, you're right. Gen Pop. You're in, you're with everybody, son. Uh, that thing. Like, if you go to federal, if you go to fucking the supermax prison, you're never going to see anyone. You're just in your cell the whole time for thirty days. I'll go to that one. But I'm, no, 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 yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why I said stay penitentiary. I want to go to that one. That's yeah. why I said. That's why I, I want to do solitary confinement. I don't think people you're, you're on the yard with the other prisoners every day, trying to avoid stabbings. Yeah. Like, I mean, you're just in it. Oh, I don't God. think people realize too how quick your little cushy life unravels of just not having your phone. Do, oh do phone jail for seven days. To just say you don't get to use your cell phone or Wi-Fi or your computer or anything for seven days. And watch how fast. By day three, you're going, Dude. What's I got to talk to someone. How am I going to get an Uber? I want to get food. Like, just phone, phone. jail would be hard TV for a week. TV privileges. The, the toughest guy in jail decides what you're watching, and yeah. that's it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you so that's like just off. being without my phone for 30 days. I've got no connection to the outside world. Now I'm scared with all these fucking guys. Yeah. Like, it is, I mean, it'd be a whole thing. But yeah. I would do it as a, like an, a little social experiment for 500 grand. 30, three, 30 days. In, What's wild days is that, is that, is that, is that in every prison, solitary confinement is the worst punishment you could have. So those guys would rather be on the yard with killers than alone in a cell. I think I, I'd, like, they, I'd, I'd be like, listen, for 30 days, put me alone in a cell. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I guess for 30 years, though, if you're doing a long stretch of I time. I think that's the difference, yeah. Because yeah. I think, like, solitary confinement might be good for, like, a few days. Yeah, it's like you're a like, retreat. thank God. Yeah, it's like, it's like a meditation retreat. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, thank you, because they still got to feed me. Yeah. So you're like, thank you. But then after, like, maybe, a, like, a year, you yeah, start going like loopy. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a fun one. How about you? What price would you do it for? Uh, 30 days? Probably the same to fight Tyson, two hundred thousand dollars. Because yeah. dude, thirty. I mean, like, look, the chance of you getting fucked up are high. But yeah, like just not so, really. Like, I mean, they, they do a ton of profiling. They, I bet they wouldn't even fuck with you if you were just quiet. Oh, you you've got to, yeah. If you got to look, <laughs> and you just like maybe grow like a beard out longer, you know, like yeah. don't put hair gel in it. You know, fucking, <laughs> yeah, you and you just shaggy. sit there and mind your shit. There, they do a lot of profiling. Like, all right, that guy's mind his business, and I don't think I could take him. Like, they look at yeah. you visually, but those little meth heads that go in there, yeah. or any like small guy, they're like, that's the guy. We're gonna fucking Rob that push guy. that guy around. We're gonna bully him, and then that guy has to like work for him. He's gonna clean his cell. Yeah, prison's gonna, like high school on steroids. It's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Well, that's another. It's an advantage to be a black guy too. Like. Those oh my god yeah we're, they're, 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 they don't talk about black privilege in prison enough. oh dude for real there's plenty of those there guys there really is a lot of black privilege in prison yeah and i'm here to stomp it out no. <laughs> well it's it's crazy too because like a lot of those guys they'll just be like oh he's all right okay if you just mind your business and be quiet enough if you look like just you know <laughs> i'd be, is, I'd a, be a little different yeah I've, I've told that to, to my boss. my height might help me a little yeah for sure <clears> i've told terrifying. some of my black friends growing up i was like uh <laughs> I was like, you know, it's like just because you're black doesn't mean I'm scared of you. <laughs> like, you know, it's funny. Like they, they think, you know, oh, and you know, a white guy. Oh, he must be fucking scared. No, I grew up around black people. I'm not scared of you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like I've I've knocked out many a black guy, and I'll knock you out too. <laughs> it's a, quite a quote. Yeah, <laughs> that's. Yeah, yeah. No, but it's it's one of those things. Like they did, you know, they try to use their crazy voice on you. It's yeah. like, yeah, calm down. I've yeah, heard, right. heard a black guy scream. Yeah, I'm calm not down. rattled. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> it is a thing. You got to use what's, what's, you know, what's, what, uh, listen, I can't fight. I don't know fucking sh fuck all about jujitsu. There's, there's all these people walking around with UFC skills, right? But I look tough. So they don't fucking try me. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. That helps. It goes a long ways. It's, it's yeah. a big facade, and I'm playing the game too. Yeah. Crazy works. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah. Your price is low. F I'm surprised. I thought it would be way higher. 
It is my biggest nightmare. Yeah. But well, I would love you, to. You go crazy not being able to do whatever you want. Yeah. Just and, sitting there. Well, and just like. Boredom. It, it is very scary. Like, it's, it's so like. Do you think that's the most scary environment you could be in? Jail? Yeah. No, my I think my nightmare environment would be like in like a downtown LA or something like at like 2 a.m. Oh, really? You know, like that. I think that's scarier than because jail you got. Uh, there's there's still correctional officers. Th See, there is a. I thought your nightmare would be like a fucking office environment. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> with but, HR. I mean, like fear, shit. fear is like yeah. His nightmare What's environment is a room here? by himself. Have, like, there's like a lot of people in prison that like somehow sneak their phones. Oh, the thousands phone. of people. Uh, yeah, there's lots of phones in prison. Yeah, like I saw the other day, I was on TikTok and I literally just saw some guy in prison doing like a live stream TikTok dancing for like an hour. In, in prison. prison. Yep. There's they smuggle them in up someone's yeah. ass, but they smuggle them in. Well, and also isn't there like some way to get like uh, privileges? Like you can get like you an can iPad get a cell phone. For an hour. Yeah, depending. No, they on do what you're iPads. Well, depending on what you're in jail for, there's... Oh, they have a computer lab? <laughs> They'll give him an iPad for like an hour or like a... Where is it? He was in jail and he legit would be posting in jail with, with the... <laughs> Look at Christian's heroes. Jesus Christ. This is, this is all the guys Christian like. Jesus. <laughs> Look at this Instagram. We gotta do something about I've prison never seen style. You. You'd have to pay me to watch this Instagram. Trump brought Chef G, that guy out, and another guy out at a at a uh, conference. Really? Well, listen, they're all criminals. <laughs> yeah, the, they're the two most he identifies with them. like uh, rappers in New York, and he brought them out. No, we believe you. You know, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Trump, <laughs> black supporters. Is that what you're googling? <laughs> he spelled his name wrong. Did I? No, he did. Chef G. He brought him out. How? Like. Like yeah, got him out of jail. No, like they, like Chef G just got out of jail with like in two months, and he brought him out at a rally. Oh, oh I see. of and course, he, dude. They're all trying to pander for votes. Where's my black guy? <laughs> what What were they in jail for? Um, I think like racketeering, like Rico, like murder, like drugs. Oh, yeah. murder. I think murder. Like I mean, you can't let them no. Out. You won't get out on a Rico murder. I mean, I don't know. Unless what he got a pardon. For. Unless Trump gave him a pardon. This is odd. Like, these were like the most like hood like trenches guys from New York. Then why get them out? Or do they get out on their own? He needs own. the black oh, vote. Oh, they got Jeff. it on their own and then Trump brought them out. There's oh, gotta okay, be okay. something else. I was going to say, if he pardoned them, I'd be like, I don't like that at all. He pardoned Kodak Black. What's that? He pardoned uh, Kodak Black, who's a rapper. Yeah, but what was he Kodak Black in for? I don't want him to just not pardon black people. I'm saying I don't want him to pardon people. That Anybody murder. who did a crime, yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure he was in jail for like some like violent shit too. Oh, really? Well, he didn't pardon these guys. You just no, said he just brought them out. Yeah. But he was like saying like I, I want to have a grill like you guys and like that's funny. Like that, which yeah. Is hysterical. Well, it is good to the guy say, hey. I gotta get those teeth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you brought up this. How much to go on uh, no phone for a week? God, that'd be tough. <laughs> Because it's literally everything. I don't do. think everything be, for I me, do it wouldn't be phone. that tough. Yes, it would. Yeah, I mean, it would, but it wouldn't not as tough as it is for you. For me, I'd be like, nah, a week off. I kind of think like pay I would go rent. through phases. Pay my rent for the month. I think like it. three days I would fucking be freaking out. And then like by day five, I would oh, love no. it. Oh, no. It would be awesome, dude. That's how I feel. be awesome. Yeah. I think I could do it. Because we lived like that. We're all old enough to remember where you had to leave a message, you know, and then like... Uh, you guys remember like having a call like a girl at her house and like her fucking phone yeah, and yeah. pick up like hey can you Mr. Soto I hate it. would you mind putting I remember they would yeah, I hated they it. would listen on the phone call I no, remember they, it and I'm glad it's not like that see, anymore I'd have my sister call up and ask her so and so and I know they wouldn't oh, be listening that's to you that's smart yeah. I remember just like you'd be talking to this girl and she'd be like dad stop listening you're like fuck how long has he been listening for yeah. how long has he been listening to this conversation I used to yeah, make trying a little, to crack one out this whole I time I used to make a little set list of like what I was going to talk to the did girl did you really like, yeah I'd be like I'd like come like I'd be like alright I did that one you don't even make a set list for your set do you want to go but I did it back go then because I was like so nervous to talk to the girl because I just hate the phone in general let alone talking to a girl on a phone that's double fear yeah. when you're you remember kid. you remember calling the girl and the parents would pick up and then you'd hang up that didn't bother me the parent part <laughs> oh I would hang but up but I mean like I 
Oh, dude, you want to hear the most embarrassing one? Of course. This is crazy. Uh, there was this, like, the hottest girl in our school, at least to me, was this girl named Kristen Janzen. Like, hotter, like, hotter than Lindsay Paladin? No, not at all. Okay. But she was like our grade. Okay, she was yeah, your, she your was, level. Yeah, and also like at that phase, you know, that's the girl yeah. I had a crush on. Over. But like there's not a universe where Christian Janzen would be remotely Knew who you were. Yeah. me. Yeah. And so I was like, uh, for what, I got her phone number somehow. I don't even know how. And so I just rang it up. Like a psycho, just a moment of confidence. And uh, there was a guy in our school named Mike Jensen. He was, like, very notorious. Yeah, I heard about Mike One Jensen. One of the most popular guys, but also, like, you know, popular. I don't know how to, like, what to be comparable to in show business, but, like, a lot of people talk shit about him too, but like he was like the most one of the most popular guys at school, and so I like ran. I go, is Christian there? She's like, yeah. And then she goes and gives Christian. And then Christian gets up and she was like, hi. I was like, hey, this is Jeff from uh, from social studies, and she's like, okay. Like she must have been like, <laughs> must have been like confused. What? It was very out of yeah, nowhere, yeah. you know. Yeah. And so I was like, hey, and she's like, hey, what, you know, like, and I was like, um, would you ever date Mike Jensen? Like I was calling for him or something. <laughs> It made no, I don't, I, even to this day, it's you like, panicked. because Mike Jensen yeah. would like to bang you and I'm Mike Dude, Jensen. It was <laughs> so uncomfortable. And then she's like, no. And then I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> and then I go, would you ever date me? But then before she could even answer, I just out. hung up. No, oh, I you didn't. hung out before wow. you got the answer. And then I had to go to school on Monday just being like, what the fuck have Did I done? Did she say yes? Did she oh say no? Oh, my God. No? But also, like, I know she's, like, thinking, like, what? How much to relive that? Oh, uh, dude. <laughs> How much to relive Bro. that moment still, and, th and that embarrassment? Still rattled by it. <laughs> That's still rattled terrifying. By it. Dude, you want to hear something embarrassing? I used to walk around with a pen and a piece of paper just in case I got some bitches. Now. I like that. <laughs> No, that's smart. That's not embarrassing at yeah, all. That's yeah, good. that's smart. A lot of empty pages in my pants. Yeah, but still, but that's still, I like that. You remember, like, in, you never know. in middle <laughs> school, though? It's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. And it was always a click pen. It was. Not my, uh, in middle school, man, they would, like, you, you'd ask other people out for other people. Like, oh, you sure, yeah, yeah. Girl would be like, do you want to go out with Micah Hartman? You're like, they're asking oh, other yeah, people's yeah. names. It was so weird. I loved that. It was great. Oh, like they'd be like, like now? 10 girls would be like, are you, Jennifer Marshall has a crush on you. I'm like, fucking, that's 10 chicks. This must be real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Jennifer Marshall's not going to come tell me. I've got to go do the work. Yeah. But like all of her friends have told you me know she's got in. a crush on me. Yeah, yeah. why how can't do I do that do, now? How do kids do it these days? Like, do they just like online? Uh, just, like, I guess all online. They, I, I would bet they it's They create like a fake Instagram and like, hey, do you like this Strike up a conversation. Yeah. You know, I'm sure middle school easy. Tinder. That's easier times with the social media. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't build character. I mean, it's not great. It, I, I feel like you got to get used to being humiliated because because uh, life is you know just a series of humiliation humiliations punctuated by a few moments of joy. I yeah. feel like, you, you but know, like, I also I gave up. Like at a young age, just go not doing it. Yeah, because <laughs> like I was just like I was was not going well, and so I was like I'll just lean into this. I'll fart off the chairs. I'll make jokes. I'll goof around. These fuckers don't that like me. Out. Look oh, at you now. Look great. at you now. <laughs> but at the time, I just was defeated quick. Where where's that girl now? Uh, Kristen Janzi. Yeah, she uh, she's married and has kids, okay. and she lives in uh, back in California. Does she look okay. good though? Yeah, she looks great. Okay, yeah, she's very I beautiful. She's very I... cool. She's she was always just like, she was one of these. I guess like probably because she was an athlete. She was like really athletic. Yeah, yeah. So she was just always like cool. She was always, yeah, like, that's cool. I will person. say at that age, younger in 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 the high school, if you are athletic in athletics, that's just kind of how you talk to people. Yeah, it's like. That's the the easy the the way to get into it. Have you talked to her about this? No, never mentioned it. <laughs> yeah. I'm curious what. But it is. Um, I'm curious what her spin on it. Yeah. What, what it would next be. Next time we play Seattle, get her out. Yeah, I'm tell I the story. Have, she if she would it. like, be like, do you remember when you called me and oh, you yeah. just as like I want. I'm really her... comfortable with those embarrassing moments now because yeah, of course. the people we've all become. But like, dude, it was pretty. Of course, fucking... it's terrifying. There was oh, a different girl yeah. I had a crush on that I would always like ask. Like, I'd always be like. Does it mean you're rich if like you have jet skis? She's like, I don't know. And I'm like, well, because we have jet skis. Like I really wanted her to think we were rich, but I just ask her all these obnoxious questions. Like, we have jet skis. So Anthony was just claiming he thinks I'm rich. He thinks my family's like like that. Would, like that's what gets you laid. It, it made no sense. And I just kept going to the same well of being like, oh, everyone thinks I'm rich. That's so it's like funny. no one thinks you're rich. And I just was always playing that thing. It was like so mortifying. But those are the biggest things I. Traumatized if I think if I could think about what my are you thinking as a kid. I mean, oh, like, no. All of us did that kind of bad shit. strategy, because all the guys in my school thought I ruled. 
<laughs> like Jeff's the funniest and the best. Every girl's just like that fucking loser. <laughs> I remember in high school there was a girl from the different school named uh, Nancy Gear, and she was like, she was like, you know, the hottest guy at your school is is Jeff Die, and all the girls couldn't believe their ears. They're like, what? <laughs> no one's ever thought that guy was, and I like, I was like shook by it even now. Was Nancy Gear good looking? You yeah, she's kidding. You should have moved on to the other high schools, brother. Yeah, yeah I know. That's why I didn't know how, but like, yeah, I had a good reputation at the other pass. schools. <laughs> yeah, because they didn't know, they didn't grow up with me. Oh, that was one of the they best They just things. saw high school Jeff and was like, oh, why is nobody dating that kid? That was about actually the best part about being going to high school in New York City, man. So, like, you don't go to the school, like, in your neighborhood. Like, you just go to any school you want in the city. You, you apply. So, if you're a fucking... Oh, that's interesting. If you're a fucking zero in eighth grade, you just can reinvent yourself. Just go change your whole life. Yeah, man. you can change your whole life. So, all that shit for me ended in ninth grade, or eighth grade, and then you move on. And, oh, that's wild. And, yet, you know, you have four years to make your reputation somewhere else. Yeah. But all that shit that hung with you from fucking... Kindergarten through eighth grade disappeared. Yeah. Oh, they knew grade. all my shit for sure, <laughs> which did suck for the kids that got bullied a lot. We had a few kids that got bullied a lot. I was very nice to all the kids we bullied, but um, they they were living. They only had they were getting bullied for shit they did very young. Yeah, so like, you like, pooped your like, pants in first grade. It's like I was fucking six, man. Yeah, yeah like <laughs> yeah, seriously, it was very much like that. I remember thinking like, oh, this is kind of hard. we're being real hard on yeah <laughs> this kid for old shit. Anyways. Uh, how much to go through your phone and uh, ask 10 chicks if they would go out with Josh Nelson or Randy Valerio? How much to do that? 20 bucks. <laughs> okay, perfect. We'll do that. I got you. We, we yeah. get to pick the uh, random yeah, chicks. I, 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 I we call, get to pick the, I call we Nancy pick Gear. the girls. <laughs> yeah, dude. We should find Nancy Gear. Uh, we're running out of time. Let's do a couple more. Okay. Um, the, I want to. I just. I know you're gonna have a great answer on this. Right. How much to uh, do one of those uh, the 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 slap the the power slaps to just take a slap from from one of those people? Oh shit, man! I'd probably do that for like five grand. Five grand. Okay, cool. I figured your answer was going to be like, do I get to slap him back? Well, no, I want to slap him first. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know I'm not going to knock him out. <laughs> yeah. I know I'm not going to knock him out, knock him out, but I want to get my lick in. Okay. How much from a, a girl slap boxer? Oh, shit, man. I've had 10,000 girls slap me. Uh, <laughs> you know, 500 bucks. 500 bucks. <laughs> I mean, I've been slapped in the face more times than I can count. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it right there. Yeah, dude. I'm fucking pay Mike's bills over here. Five hundred bucks. Oh, Shit, fine. dude. I Those... get slapped in the face once or twice a year from a chick. It does hurt. <laughs> no, no, it hurts. Yeah, it's not good. It hurts, but I'm used to it. I <laughs> love that. That's great. How much to rock a cowboy hat everywhere you go for a week? Do I have to wear it in the office? Gotta wear it everywhere. <laughs> everywhere you yeah. go. When you're not sleeping, you're wearing a cowboy yeah, hat. Yeah, you gotta wear it. Chicks like it. Uh, I'll do that Multiple for, I'll women do that for have a been grand. Like, a grand. You were a cowboy hat. Okay, that's a pretty. That's a pretty reasonable price. On stage, <laughs> you know you're gonna fall in love with the cowboy hat. That's how it's gonna end. That's up. what I. Yeah, it could you could just end so? up. You're like, oh, this 100%. is me now, dude. This you is, know how many people you. respond to a high cowboy hat? They love it. People I'd, love I'd, it. I'd feel weirder if you told me like it was like a top hat or one of those like Hasidic Jew fucking oh, yeah. giant things. How much to wear a turban? <laughs> For a week. Like my favorite Do, turban wait, I, comic, wait, wait. Uh, Nick Cannon. <laughs> wait, am I traveling? <laughs> am I going through the airport? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Whatever you're doing that fuck. week, man. Yeah. Uh, t- <laughs> that'll, go two, that'll be two grand. I think the funny part about wearing a cowboy hat for comedy is that he doesn't address it at all. He's oh, still I would doing never, his I would bit. never address it. He's I would never address it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> you know, I'm from New York. Just fucking oh, yeah, cowboy yeah. hat. Because I'm a big dumb mook from Queens, and they're like, <laughs> the cowboy hat guy's from Queens? <laughs> Too funny, man. Uh, Where can everyone find your yeah. stuff, Randy? Uh, the Ready, Set, Blow podcast yep. every Wednesday. I don't know what camera. The Ready, Set, Blow podcast every Wednesday. Uh, at Ready, Set, Blow podcast on all the platforms. And me, I'm at Randy Valerio. Instagram is my shit. Follow me there. That's where I get all the memes on the, put all the memes on the internet and get fucking banned for it. So. <laughs> yeah. uh, JeffDye.com Come to uh, some live shows See that Also New York City Atlanta St. Louis uh, Cleveland Toronto Houston Washington And Boston All coming up And then Reno's coming up um, Come see me Throw some first pitches And see me uh, Do some comedy Josh Nelson Comedy Just check it out Thank you Yeah Yeah